What's up everyone, Art here with No Code Devs, and today I'm going to show you how to scrape the contents of any YouTube channel. All you need is the channel URL, and we'll get things like the video title, the number of views, the image thumbnail for the video, the duration, and of course the video link. I'll show you some other things that you can get from YouTube using this automation tool, as well as how you could automate this out into other applications with tools like Zapier or Airtable. This will be a short and sweet video. I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe if you do. Let's go ahead and dive in, show you how this all works. All right, let's go ahead and get going. We are gonna be using a tool today called Browse AI. We've actually showcased this product before. About 10 months ago, we created a video on how to scrape Amazon and then create an automated affiliate store using scraped Amazon products. If you haven't checked out that video, it's on our YouTube channel, it's pinned. Be sure to give it a watch, it's very interesting. But we're revisiting Browse AI again today because they have another pre-built bot that we're gonna to wanna to use to show you how to scrape YouTube channel content. Browse AI, simply put, is a no-code website scraper. You can free train your own bots or use their pre-built bots to scrape data. Super cool, it's really easy to use. We'll go ahead and log in. I'm gonna authenticate with Google here. Okay, now that I'm in, we have a couple options. We can extract structured data or monitor site changes. By the way, you can do both. You normally want to extract some sort of data and then monitor the changes of that data on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Also, they have help and a concierge service, which you can utilize. I'm not sure if there's a cost for that, but it is there if you would need it. And then they also have these pre-built bots. So let's go ahead and check these out. So across many categories from like LinkedIn, the product hunt to Indeed, to like social networks like TikTok, search engines like DuckDuckGo, Google Trends, there's a ton here. They've taken the time to pre-build a bunch of these bots so that you don't have to spend the time training up yourself. It reduces a lot of the legwork. It just makes it super easy to get started with some of these pre-built bots. So we'll go ahead and click on YouTube. They actually have several bots available for YouTube from extracting videos from a YouTube channel, which is what we're gonna do today, to things like getting a comment. So this could be really helpful if you just want to like monitor either for your own channel or even extract a video transcript from YouTube, there's a lot you can do. But for today, we're going to show you how to get all of the videos from a specific YouTube channel. So I think this could be like really helpful for a lot of creators that are just trying to monitor their own content or potentially their competitors content. Or even if you're creating like a, a directory of YouTube videos, this would be a good place to get the thumbnail, the description the title of the video, the length of the video, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and click this. And we see a couple things here. Uh, we get the video title, the number of views, the image thumbnail duration in a video like perfect. Let's go ahead and use this automation. Let's hop over to YouTube here. And who doesn't love Mr. Beast? So let's choose Mr. Beast. Uh, we can go to his channel. Now, of course he has a ton of videos, so we're probably not gonna wanna extract them all but we can head over to this videos tab here. So we've got youtube.com at MrBeast slash videos. And this is where we can get a nice feed of all of his videos. So let's go ahead and copy this URL and head back here. And it gives us an example. So if you are using a different pre-built bot or you just need an example, it gives you a URL example so that you have some guidance in how to set this up. So let's go ahead and paste this channel URL and this is really nice. You can set the max number of videos. Again, Mr. Beast has a ton of videos, so we probably don't want to waste all of our resources just downloading his videos for a tutorial. So let's just set this at 50. You could set the max at whatever you want. Just know you're going to use more resources, obviously, and drain your credits on Browse AI if you download a ton of content or scrape a ton of content. So let's go ahead and do 50 for the sake of example and go ahead and hit next. This is just confirming everything that we just selected and we can hit start extracting. Depending on what's going on, I think in browse AI, as well as your account, as well as the type of site that you're scraping from, this could be super fast or pretty fast. Either way, it's pretty fast. Most of the extractions that I've done have taken just like a minute or two at the most, but you'll be able to see the progress here as it goes. Once it starts to find some videos on Mr. Beast's channel, we'll start to see them tally up right here. As we can see, it's already got 11 of the 50 that we asked for. And once it's done, we'll see all the data structured right in front of us in a nice list right here in the browser. 
Once we have that data, I'll show you some of the cool things that we can do to work with the data, download the data, sync the data, monitor the data, and so on and so forth. But the options are really nice here. So we could see just like without doing anything else, we could see all this data right here. We get each video title, the number of views when it was posted. We get the thumbnail image from the video, which is really nice because that could be a pain to get sometimes. We get the, especially at scale, we get the creation of the video and a link to the actual video itself. So this is great. Down here, we just get a preview of what was going on and the workflow behind everything. You could download this data as a CSV and you could be done right now. This might be all that you need, just depending on your use case, but there's a lot more that you can do. So you can monitor the site changes. So basically you can watch this channel every day. Whenever something changes, you can set up this monitor. This monitor will not only add the data to your table, but it could alert you of any new changes. So really helpful, especially if you're tracking competitors or something like that. So you can run this at any interval that you want in increments of minutes up to months. You can do it by the day of the week. You can set the number of videos, you can rename it. Pretty self-explanatory. You can get it notified by email if there's a change in the captured text. So it compares the data to what was captured before. And if there's any changes, then it'll let you know via email. Of course, you could set up your own monitoring system as well in the spreadsheet or via Zapier or something like that. Speaking of which, there's this integrations tab, lots of nice integrations here from their API to webhooks to Google Sheets, Zapier and Airtable. So really nice if you want to get your data from browse ai into somewhere else they make it super easy to do and as you can imagine you could up all kinds of automations if you would like you could have this post to your website or blog whenever there's a new video added to mr beast channel you could use open ai to write some help you write some content about what's being posted on the channel and share that as a social post there's a lot of creative things that you could do their google sheets integration is really nice because it can automatically sync to the seat every time that this task run, all you have to do is hit enable a syncing to sheet, connect your Google account, which I've already done. And now you can choose an existing spreadsheet or actually you can create a new spreadsheet and we'll call this like Mr. Beast and create spreadsheet and activate integration. And this will just take a second, check this out. We've actually created a spreadsheet in our Google account called Mr. Beast. Every time that this task runs, the data will be put into the sheet. If there's changes, it'll actually append the rows for us automatically so that it's updated. Sometimes there could be duplicates. Browse AI does have a Chrome extension to remove duplicates, so that's super nice. But yeah, super easy to get your data right into some other tool using Google Sheets, Zapier, Webhooks, you name it. There's a few other settings here. Not much to do here except rename your robot change the channel URL, change the max number of videos. There's some advanced options like where you want the robot to run from, notify you on failure, but that's it. That's how you can very easily extract data from a YouTube channel. And let's go ahead and just try to rerun this and see if we can get this to go into our Google Sheet. So let's go ahead and create a run of this task again, just to give it a try. And hopefully in a couple minutes here, we'll have this in our Google Sheet. Okay, so I just ran it again. And if we head over to our videos tab, check this out. All of our data is here, nicely formatted with headers. We get a little bit more information in this sheet than we just did in the web version, such as the job link, the Mac videos, so just some of the, just some of the data, but this is really cool. It's all in a spreadsheet, easy to track. We can do a ton of things with it. Now that's in a spreadsheet, we can run formulas all kinds of stuff. So really nice to get our data out of Browse AI and into a sheet. This hopefully was really helpful. Hopefully it gives you some ideas on what you can do with extracting data from YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit like and subscribe if you did. Thank you. Have a great day and thank you for checking out No Code Devs.